Hi, hope you are doing well. Welcome to Dental Education Hub YouTube channel. The risk of mercury exposure cannot be ignored, but close adherence to the simple hygiene procedures will help to ensure a safe working environment for both the patients and the dental staff. So in this video, we will discuss about the best practices for amalgam filling placement. The dentist and the staff should adhere to the basic safety requirements and the basic safety requirements they include use of uh, eye protection, disposable mask and gloves. So these are the basic standard safety requirements that should be followed while placing amalgam restoration or while carrying out any dental procedure. The encapsulated amalgam formulations, they should be used. So this is one of the encapsulated amalgam formulation. So um, these formulations, they are mixed in this machine that is the amalgamator. So here the capsule, it is fixed. Encapsulated amalgam formulations, they reduce the waste wastage of the material. They also reduce the mercury vapor formation during mixing. They also prevent the accidental spills during dispensing and mixing of the material. The high copper containing alloys, they should be used because the high copper alloys they are more corrosion resistance resistant and they release less mercury from the amalgam during setting use a dental dam also known as rubber dam while placement of amalgam restoration because this dental dam it reduces the mercury or heavy metal exposure to the patient the high volume evacuation system or high volume suction systems should be used that are fitted with trapped or filters. These suction or evacuation systems, they prevent unnecessary exposure of heavy metals and mercury, not only to the patient, but also to the dentist and the dental staff. The dental office it should be well ventilated so the fresh air can come inside from the windows. If the dental office is air conditioned, the filters of the air conditioned, they should be periodically replaced and or cleaned. Do not carpet the floor of the dental office. In fact, the floor of the dental office have a known absorbing, easy to clean surface. Access mercury, capsules, and other mercury related waste, it should be collected and stored in a well sealed small containers. And this waste, along with the other dental waste, it should be handed over to a proper waste management company. This waste should be properly disposed uh, through a reputable uh, waste management company. This is a summary of the best practices for amalgam filling placement. If you have any questions or if you want to give any feedback, feel free to write in the comments below. Again, thank you so much and stay blessed.